got a right special for you today. This is proper, proper special. So, I love Buckfast. Who doesn't? Who in the right mind doesn't? And I love chili con carne. So I thought, why don't I do a Buckfast chili con carne and call it Chili gone barmy. Genius. I'll drink to that. Mm. God, I love the bookie. Right, before I jump in a skip and start ranting at passers-by, let's have a bit of history. Because it's good to learn, isn't it? What's that? No, no, it's a hair system. Yeah, no, it's not a wig. No, no, it's, it's a... Shut up, anyway. This is about cooking. So, book fast. Where did it come from? I'm glad you asked. It comes from at Buckfast Abbey. Where's that mash? Thanks for asking. Devon. Uh, it was built in 1008. Wow, 1008. I don't even know that was a year that existed. Um, and in 1897, the nephew of a French monk had a bit of a trip across the old channel and uh, he visited his uncle and he brought with him a medicinal tonic wine that he'd invented because that's what you do don't you in your spare time you just knock up mad shit <laughs> so yeah and it consists of two things it consists of caffeine and alcohol. What's not to like? It's like vodka Red Bull, isn't it? You know what I mean? And it's at a cheeky 14.8%. Yeah, so, you know, it's a bit of a bit of a winter warmer. So I did a bit of background on Buckfast Abbey because you can go there and stay over with, with the brothers. You know what I mean? Get a bit of a monk on. <laughs> uh, just sort my hair out. Um, yeah, so I had a look at it online. And you can go for like three and five day breaks. Uh, and you can stay in a very uh, moderate room. Not a lot of home comforts. Bang the old monk outfit on. Um, and I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, you can have peace and quiet. Because I'm not sure if they've got a vow of silence. Even better. Nobody giving it that bollocks. Uh, so I'm thinking, I'll have a bit of that. I'll go for a two or three day break, make some book fast and bring it all. This was the deal breaker. It was all going wonderfully well. I was ready to sign on the dotted line. But four occasions a day. Yeah, yeah. Not one, not two, not three. Four occasions a day. You have to pray with the brothers and praise the mythical Sky Fairy. <laughs> Fuck that. So, no, I'll just buy it anyway. So, mm. you'll notice there, there's less than half a bottle left. <clears throat> no, I haven't been drinking it. What I did was... I'll show you all this in a minute because I need to go get my apron on. Because if I'm going to do a bit of cooking, I don't want to get the old Adidas knackered, do I? No. Um, so I'm going to bang the old tabard on and get and get chefed up for your special master chef. A little bit of chili gone barmy. <laughs> um, so I marinated it overnight, half a bottle. Uh, I don't know whether you'll... I'll show you in a minute anyway. But before I do, I've, I've chopped the onion and everything. Because you don't need to know how to chop an onion, you know what I mean? If you're signing into this, you're not a fucking idiot, are you? No. But the last thing I need to do is these. These are beautiful. I was going to chop them. But I just think they're a work of art. Are you ready for these? Look at them beauties. A big red peppers. There is so much shit going into this chili gone by me. It is unbelievable. But you, uh, not you, 
but you, you can do this. You can do this. All you need is a crock pot, an imagination, and some book fast. So I'm going to go chop these up, bang my tab hard on, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. Chink, chink. Cheers. And how fucking expensive is that, by the way? I went to four shops in Scunny trying to track it down, and there was only one. Bottom of Ashby. Left hand side. One stop. Catch you in a minute. Ta-da! Welcome back. I'm tabarded up. <laughs> so it don't matter if we splash any shite. Right. Let's show you what's going into my chili gone barmy. Last night, 24 hours this has had, I've got a uh, best, because I don't want to put some shite in here, I bought the best uh, steak mints and also uh, a packet of cubed as well. Look at that. And I just put Susie salt and Percy pepper in and a load of chili flakes as well. So look, and you can see it's still swimming in the bucky, but it's all seeped in. So that's going to go in the crock pot. But what else is going in it? Two large onions. Don't get French onions because they're shit. Yeah, they're good old British onions, mate. You want your British onions? Dead bit, do, dead bit, do. Fucking idiot. Look at the two red Percy peppers. Beautiful. What else is going in it? Susie's hot Percy pepper. You've always got to get that. Garlic paste. Shit loads of that's going in. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. And these are chopped tomatoes with chilli already added as well. So we chilli, chilli, chilli. What else is going in? Red kidley beans, but not early on. Put your kidley beans in later because they tend to get a little bit mulchy. All right, so they'll go in probably after about seven or eight hours. Uh, we've got cayenne pepper. Yeah, I'm also going to put some uh, smoked paprika in. That's smoked paprika. This is quality, this. From uh, own bargains, chopped Chili and that is superb that bang a shitload of that in and if that's not if that's not hot enough for you look at these babies bird's eye chilies ho 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 they bizarrely they're hotter when they come out fucking weird so I will be putting my toilet roll in the fridge later ready for tomorrow's inevitable turnout <laughs> That, that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's crack on with the crock pot and show you all the ingredients going in because I know that you want to do this at home, don't you? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? So crack on. Come on, let's get on with the crock pot. Right. First things first. I've warmed the crock pot up. All right. So we're going to bang the onions in. Then we're going to bang the meat in, then the peppers, and then all the rest of it. So crack on. Onions in the bottom. And I say, I've already warmed it up, so it will give it a nice little sizzle. Launch them in, Phil. There you go. Onions are in. Look at that. Oh, it just smells like a homeless Glaswegian. It is beautiful. Right, I'm going to need, just grab a spatula. You check you out. Oh, I'll grab a spatula. Go on. Come on, launch it in. Oh, look at that. That is just a sight to behold. Let's get it on high as well. Right, chuck that out of the way, that needs to go in the sink. 
Keep the spatula out. Peppers next. Launch them in. Looking good. In fact, let's leave that there. Bit of garlic. It's only a paste. Get it in. Get it in. Go on, son. There you go. Dispose of it properly. Let's recycle. Don't think so. Right, these are a devil to open these things. So, every time I get one of these bloody tins, they're always a bastard to open. So I'll give you a tip for you. I mean, I might be teaching your grandma how to suck eggs, but... Oh, it just won't open, so just get a sharp knife. A little bit of a dent in the top. Easy as that. Look at that. Look. That's pure hell in a jar. Let's have some of that fired in. Not too much, because you don't want to spoil it, do you? No. Right, get that out of the way. Two tins of tomatoes. Let's have that in. Done. Another tin of tomatoes. Get fired in. Susie salt, Percy pepper, very important. Look at these, Le Creusier, beautiful. Yeah, you know, if you're gonna be a master chef, you need it, don't you? Susie salt, Percy pepper, we're in. We're in, I don't like pepper. I'd be tempted to chuck some peppercorns in, to be honest. Right, cayenne pepper. Quite, quite pungent, this stuff. But, to be honest, there's got that many flavours going on in here. You can't really ruin it, because it's already fucked from the off. Bird's eye chilies. Oh, yeah. Put them in whole. In fact, get the lid off. Let's have a handful in there. Complete with seeds. Oh, yeah. Dancer! So that's pretty much that. Give it a little bit of a stir. And then leave it for ages. There's some quite large chunks of uh, beef in there as well. Which is why I didn't do it in the frying pan, because the beef needs a lot longer to kick off. So let's have a look behind the camera and see how that's faring up. Oh, she's a beauty. Let's just have a little bit more bucky. Not too much, because uh, I want some. Uh, that's about it for about another six hours, I think. Uh, we'll just have to check on it uh, periodically. So, just one sec and I'll be back in the room. Ah! Back in the room! Right, these are uh, the things that are going to go in later because they cook a lot quicker. Your... Your red kidley beans, lob them in once, I don't know, five or six hours. But I do favour these, rather than, I like the chestnut mushroom, and for the nuttiness. But to be honest, the amount of shit that's gone in there, I think the nuttiness will be fucking lost. So I've gone for the large flat mushroom. And I do like to cut them up quite rustic, I don't like slices. You can even, look, you can even pull them apart. I don't know, I do like... I don't, okay, well, I do like mushrooms, especially when they're soaked in butt fast. So again, yeah, just pull them apart, lob them in, but after about five or six hours. And then I thought I would add, I've got the mince in there. I've got, this is as far as me it's concerned. You can do a vegetarian option of this, but why the fuck would you? So the meats is best steak mince, 
chunks of best steak <clears throat> and then I'm going to lob this in as well in a bit. Let me show you this. Look, no, it looks like it looks like a bull's winky. <laughs> That's perito, carizo, chorizo. Love this stuff. And again, you can, you can eat that raw and all, but it's oh, that's got loads of cayenne pepper in it. So I'm going to slice that up, not slices, I'm going to do it rustic. Trouble is, when you eat this stuff, you always get it stuck in your fucking teeth. And then you have to get the old, you know what I mean? The old flossing. So that's going to get fired in. The old, uh, the old bull's nudger. So let's get that chopped up. Uh, that's about it, really. Looking forward to this because, because it's good for you. It's medicinal. Yeah. Mad mugs can't be wrong, can they? No. Oh, I've just seen out corner of my eye as well. Chili flakes. And I'm thinking, what would uh, what would you accompany chili gone by me with? Um, a possibly boiled rice. I don't think you need to embellish it with any flavoured rices. So a straight boiled rice would be good. Yeah, it's just a piece of piss. It literally is food alchemy. You just fucking make it up as you go along. As long as your taste buds, like mine, are absolutely bollocks from the off. Don't matter, does it? No. Anyway, that book is not going to drink itself, is it? And I've got to go chop the bull's nudger up. So, catch you in a bit, and I'll get my tabard off. Ta-da! <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, it's been cooking for a couple of hours uh, and it just needs a little bit of stock. Yeah, it's a little bit stodgy, it just needs a little bit of stock. So I got I got the stock cubes and so you know which one you're having. There's a picture of a cow on it, which is brilliant when you're fucking stupid and you can't work out the difference in colour between that and fucking turkey. Anyway, I got that. Look. So don't need a lot of stock, because I've still got a bit of bucky left. So you'll notice it's quite dark, that, because I've added a secret ingredient. Look at this. So you get your stock cube, a bit of hot water, and then what I did was, I put some Henderson's Relish in, which is strong and northern. <laughs> yeah, strong and northern. Now this shit... Uh, was first made in Sheffield. If you're not familiar with Sheffield, it's a, a city in the north with two really shit football teams. Um, yeah, and this was first made in Sheffield in 1885. And only three family members know the secret recipe. And it's still made to this day. So you could put Worcestershire sauce in. But to be honest, it's a bit weak and pissy. That, Henderson's Relish, is like chucking Sean Bean in your chilli gone barmy. It's like, you bastard! <laughs> so get some of that fired in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for me tea! You bastard! Alright, Sean! Right, okay, so my chili gone barmy book fast special has been cooking now for four hours, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. Ho ho ho, look at the colour of that. Wow, go on, have a smell, have a smell. Oh man, but you can see here, the consistency is a little bit, it uh, just needs a quick bit of stodge. So, uh, I did this a while ago on another video. Okay, so what I would suggest is, you grab yourself one of these. Bovril. 
Oh, the staple diet of every football fan from the 70s. Cup of Bovril, mate, please, on a fucking cold November night in somewhere like Oldham Athletic. So I would suggest you put in... It's, I don't do measurements. So I would say, um, if you can remember, because if you're like me and you're 55, just got your memories... Uh, you need to put in roughly about the same amount of ejaculate that you had when you was maybe 21. So a good old, a good old dollop, you know what I mean? So let's get that fired in and then cook it again for another couple of hours. And then it's book fast o'clock. Look at that, oh, lumps of steak, chirita th 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 mushrooms, kidney beans, onions, tomatoes, oh, the taste test, buckfast chilli gone fucking barmy. Let's give it a go, bit of steak. Bit of everything there. Okay. <coughs> it's a cheeky devil. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I have no idea what that is on the Scoville scale, but fuck me. Superb. We try a big mushroom. Mmm. You can really taste. You can taste the caffeine still, and the book fast. But the uh, the overriding flavours, I think, the big dollop, the big old cum bucket <laughs> of um, bovril. Oh, it's just. Beefed it all up. That, I shit you not, has got to be the best chilli I've ever made. And I've made hundreds. One of my favourite dishes. And you know the best thing is as well, look at this. We've still got a quarter of a bottle left. <laughs> oh. Devil in Glasgow, Devil Glasgow town. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, Master Chef, Buckfast Chili Gun Barmy. Oh, seriously, that is so good. And that bit of um. That bit of Sean Bean, Henderson's Sheffield Relish. You bastard! <laughs> oh, that is absolute killer. Mmm. What's up? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's rich. Oh, it's rich <laughs> and oily. Oh, I have to say, at the age of 55, and I know I don't look it, that that is better than sex. Maybe I'm not doing it right, I don't know. Superb. And look, you've still got all of the oil has come from those bird's eye chilies there, look. Oh, man, let's have them. Oh. I think the only way that could have possibly been better... Oh. ...would, if I'd have used maybe a naga chilli or a ghost chilli. Oh. God, that's hot. But anyway, thank you. Hope you've enjoyed that. Already thinking about my next one. 
So tune in for Master Chef Special Brew Stew. <laughs> and all the history about Special Brew, because it's quite phenomenal how Special Brew came about. But anyway, fuck that. I'm off to go pray to the mythical Sky Fairy with the Brothers of Buckfast. So, get on it. Get it done. See you later. Ta-da. You bastard. Hey. You bastard. <laughs>